Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video I would like to show you the main differences between a premium and a light player. Now to start with, both players are hardware related. So in case you have a light player embedded in your display, you cannot update it to a premium player. However, you can downgrade a premium player to a light player in case you only wish to use the light functionalities. Now if we take a look into Magic Info, you can see both of my displays that you currently see next to each other as well. On the left hand side we have the S6 player and on the right hand side we have the light player. Now in terms of display configuration remotely, there is already a bit of a difference. For example, if I click on the eye icon of the premium player, I here have four options at the bottom. And the most convenient one of this one is the remote control functionality. So if I open this, a new server will open and I can watch along on the display. Now if I click on menu right here, the menu will also appear on display. Now please note with light this is not possible. So with light you have to trust on the display and the content that is showing. Or in case all displays are within one building, it can also be sufficient. So this is already one of the main differences between light and premium. Because if I now open the light display, you can actually see that the remote control button is not here physically. So that's that in terms of the remote control access. Now another difference is if I go to the security section, so edit and security, you can see that on my premium player I have way more security options than I have on my light player, which I will now show you. So this already also uh, concludes some of the differences between the light and the premium player. Right, so that's in terms of the display control. Now both player types can be updated from the server remotely and both can also be sent out content to the, from the server remotely. So in terms of those aspects, it's nearly the same. But if we head over to the content section, here's already something that you can see some of the differences between the content types. For example, the very first one, it is an image. However, it's a PNG image and PNG images are not supported by light players. That's why it doesn't show an L right here on the supported device section. This one is a PDF file, which is supported by both players. And the third one is an LFD file, which has been created in a web author. Now the web author is only accessible for premium players and can only show the content on premium players as well. So think of web pages and widgets for example, but also RSS feeds and CSS feeds. Now the fourth item is a movie file, which is also supported by both players. And then we have some more files right here at the bottom. So you can see that the majority is also supported by light, but not all of them. So in case you want to use premium content, so think of web content, widgets, RSS feeds, CSS customizations, but also if you would like to work with tags. Now tags is a method where you can provide your content with tags and also provide your display with tags. And that's also a functionality that's only possible within premium. In case you want to work with a video wall, you also need to do this with premium players because light does not support creating a video wall either. Now if we stick to the content section and if I open the web author, I will show you some of the functionalities that the premium display offers. So I will select my supported device and as you can see the L for light is also not in this list, which means that you cannot choose it either. So this is then the blank canvas that I have and if I open this one, I can add multiple content items that I want and I'm free to create my own content right here. Now again, this is only possible with premium. I can insert text, create my own fonts, insert my own fonts. I can here change sources remotely. So I can do this by just scheduling this LFD file and the display will change the sources automatically. I can also add some widgets. So think about weather widgets, for example. Or I can create my own custom template and create a background color. Once you save this file, it will become an LFD file. And again, LFD files are only supported in premium players. 
Now another functionality actually with here within the web author is using uh, events. Now in case you would like to wish to work with our YoYo solution, our Lift and Learn solution, you also need premium because you need to configure the content right here within the web author. And this is where the YoYo triggers can be made. Now if we head over to playlist, I here have two options, S6 and light. If I click on S6, this means that the playlist that I will create will only be accepted on the S6 player. However, if I select light, it will mean that it will be accepted on both of my displays. So if I now click on create, and if I add this image for example, if I save the file, which is then named light, make sure to select the default group. So I have now two playlists, one for the premium and one for premium and light. If I go to my schedule, again I have two options for both players. So if I select light and if I here go to my playlist, if I insert this file, I can then save it and here I can assign it to the groups that I want. So I've divided my displays in two groups, one for light and one for premium. I will click save and click save and publish. Now the displays will now download the content. As you can see, it's now running a light playlist and schedule on both displays. But if I stick to this overview and I would like this schedule to run for my premium player, which is only supported by the premium player, I will here select this. And as you can see, I cannot even select the light uh, display because it's grayed out because it means it's not supported so what I will then do is select my premium display and click on save and publish so what it will now do the light player on the right hand side will remain playing the light content and my premium player on the left hand side will start showing the premium content which is the schedule I created only for the premium display these are some of the main differences between light and premium. In case you would like to know more about the player differences, feel free to reach out to us and we're happy to help. In case you have a premium player, for example, that you want to try on our cloud trial, this is also possible. And in case you would like to also test it on a light display, we can also make that happen for you. So in case you're interested in a free trial, feel free to reach out to us via the email in the description and we're happy to help. Thanks for watching.